A complete voltaic cell is made up of two half cells, represented here by beakers. The reaction in each half cell will produce or absorb electrons carrying electrical charge that can do work as they travel along an external circuit. This assembly mimics the operation of wet cells like a car battery and is named for Alessandro Volta, who first devised this method of storing electricity in the 18th century. In our example, the half cell on the left contains a solution of nitrate, which will dissolve solid copper into copper ions as its reaction proceeds. The second half cell contains a solution of silver nitrate, where silver ions are dissolved in always soluble nitrate ions. In order for electrons to travel from one half reaction to the other, we'll need an external wire circuit. We'll use a voltmeter to measure the current generated during the reaction. For the anode, we'll use a copper electrode, a piece of pure copper metal, attached to the end of our wire and partly submerged in the nitrate solution. The nitric acid begins dissolving the copper, leaving electrons to gather in the elect on the anode. For the cathode, we'll use a silver electrode, a piece of pure silver attached to the other wire end and partly submerged in the silver nitrate solution, which already contains silver ions and soluble nitrate ions. To complete the circuit, we'll use a salt bridge, a tube filled with sodium nitrate gel which allows ions to travel the length of the tube but does not allow the two solutions to mix. As soon as we add the salt bridge and complete the circuit, electrons from the dissolving copper oxidation reaction begin traveling the external wire. When they reach the silver electrode, they attract silver ions to in the solution and bond with the ions, forming solid silver that is deposited on the silver electrode. The current flow of electrons leaves excess positive charge as copper ions in the copper nitrate solution and removes positive charges in the nitrate solution on the silver nitrate side. To balance this, nitrate ions from the silver nitrate solution travel through the salt bridge to the copper nitrate solution and return the solution concentration net charge to zero. Sodium ions from the salt bridge travel to the nitrate solution on the silver side and raise the positive charge there. The reaction will continue as long as there are ions to carry charge in each solution.